So at the birth of Jesus, while theologians were sleeping, and the elite were dreaming, and the successful were snoring, the meek were kneeling. They were kneeling before the one only the meek will see. They were kneeling in front of Jesus. The tradition of gift giving is common with many of us. Of course, those gifts may all look different, but the joy of receiving a gift brings a smile that not much else can compare with. But what about our posture and attitudes when gift giving? Do we do it because we feel obligated or because someone is on our list? In Luke chapter 2, we find that the shepherds were the first to hear about the amazing gift of love from the Father. Through bright and shining angels, they heard the good news for the first time. My favorite song to sing at Christmas describes this message so well. Noel, Noel, come and see what God has done. Noel, Noel, the story of amazing love, the light of the world given for us. Of all people, God chose lowly shepherds to be the first earthly carriers of the message of love that had come down to earth. Simple, humble souls who, like the rest of Israel, had long awaited their promised king. Now, it's likely that these shepherds weren't the best communicators and didn't possess a commanding presence. They may have even gone without a few meals and were most likely very lonely in their existence. But when they heard the good news of a gift, they couldn't keep it to themselves. Luke 2, 17 through 20 says, When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had seen and heard, which were just as they had been told. This Christmas is especially meaningful for me as I have a new nephew who was born last Christmas Eve. Even though he is still too young to fully understand the gift of love that was given to us that starry night in Bethlehem, I can't wait to show him how we can demonstrate God's love for us through giving. By giving him gifts that will bring him joy and laughter, and by modeling the love that we can show to others through acts of kindness and compassion. One of my favorite things to do during Christmas is anonymous giving. It makes me almost giddy to think about how God can use something He gave me to share to bless someone else's life, especially because they don't know how it happened. The simple knowledge that someone out there loves and cares for you can be powerfully transforming in a human life. Just like the shepherds, you don't have to be a somebody to make a difference in the world at Christmas or any other time of year. Showing Jesus, showing the love that was given to us, authentic, compassion, expecting nothing in return, except praising God for the blessing of being obedient to his commands. So for that family member you've not seen in years and you're wondering what in the world you're gonna say, to your friend who seems to have it all together but under the surface, they're close to falling apart or losing it all, that neighbor who lives next door alone and no one ever seems to visit them, is it you God is calling to love them? or the overwhelmed stranger you meet as you both arrive at the last package of Hawaiian rolls in the entire grocery store. Hand them that package. Ask to pray for them. You don't have to be a somebody to show others the love of Christmas, the someone of Christmas, someone who loves them more than they can possibly imagine.